Hooray! Art with us! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore the captivating world of the Northern Renaissance by discussing our top three most significant paintings from this period. We've made our selection, and we're eager to hear your thoughts on these masterpieces. So, let's dive in and discover the incredible art of the Northern Renaissance. Starting off our list at number three, we have Albrecht Dürer's self-portrait at the age of 28. Painted in 1500, this self-portrait is a stunning example of Dürer's mastery of the art of painting. With his confident gaze and intricate details, Dürer presents himself as a confident and accomplished artist. One of the most intriguing facts about this portrait is that Dürer depicted himself in a frontal half-length position, which was previously reserved only for depictions of Christ. This shows just how highly he regarded himself and his art and how he saw himself as a worthy subject for such a depiction. This self-portrait is not only a testament to Dürer's skill but also a reflection of the growing importance of individualism during the Renaissance. Dürer's innovative approach to self-portraits influenced generations of artists, inspiring them to explore their own identities and artistic styles. One mystery surrounding the self-portrait is the hidden symbolism behind Dürer's hand gesture. In the painting Dürer's right hand is raised, with his fingers forming a unique and enigmatic gesture. Art historians have debated the meaning behind this gesture, with some suggesting it could represent a blessing or a sign of artistic mastery, while others believe it may have a more personal or esoteric significance. Coming in at number two, we have The Garden of Earthly Delights by Hieronymus Bosch. This fascinating triptych, painted between 1490 and 1510, is a visual feast that takes us on a journey through paradise, earthly pleasures, and the torments of hell. The intricate details and surreal imagery in this painting have captivated viewers for centuries making it a truly iconic work of the Northern Renaissance. Bosch's unique and imaginative style has had a lasting impact on the art world, inspiring countless artists to push the boundaries of their creativity and explore new realms of visual expression. A major enigma of the Garden of Earthly Delights is the true meaning behind the countless surreal and fantastical creatures and scenes depicted in the painting. While some interpretations suggest that the triptych represents a moral warning against the dangers of earthly pleasures, others argue that it could be an exploration of human desires or even a representation of Bosch's own dreams and imagination. The true meaning behind the painting's complex imagery remains a subject of debate among art historians. And finally, our number one pick for the most significant painting of the Northern Renaissance is the Arnolfini portrait by Jan van Eyck. This captivating painting, created in 1434, is considered one of the most original and complex paintings in Western art history. It features a wealthy Italian merchant, Giovanni di Nicolao Arnolfini, and his wife, standing in their lavish home. The intricate details and symbolism in this painting have been the subject of much debate among art historians, making it a truly fascinating piece to explore. Jan van Eyck's mastery of oil painting techniques, his attention to detail, and his ability to capture the essence of his subjects have made this painting a cornerstone of the Northern Renaissance. The Arnolfini portrait has had a profound influence on generations of artists, who have been inspired by Van Eyck's innovative approach to realism, composition, and symbolism. One of the most intriguing mysteries of the Arnolfini portrait is the symbolism behind the convex mirror at the center of the composition. The mirror reflects the couple, as well as two additional figures standing in the doorway, one of whom is believed to be the artist himself. Art historians have debated the significance of the mirror and its reflection, with some suggesting it represents the all-seeing eye of God, while others believe it may symbolize the couple's commitment to their marriage vows. The true meaning behind the mirror and its reflection remains an enigma. Was the Arnolfini portrait a painting depicting a happy marriage or mourning for a deceased wife? What actually happened there? We explore this captivating question in our breathtaking video focused solely on this masterpiece. Discover the theories, interpretations, and hidden meanings behind this enigmatic work of art. Find the link to the video in the description below. As a bonus, we'd like to mention another incredible work by Albrecht Dürer, The Young Hare, painted in 1502. An interesting fact is that this painting is considered one of the earliest examples of a trompe l'oeil, which is French for deceive the eye, in the history of art. Dürer's exceptional skill in capturing the texture, color, and form of the hair creates an illusion of three-dimensionality and realism that makes the viewer feel as if the animal is actually sitting on the paper. Another fascinating aspect of this painting is Dürer's meticulous attention to detail. He carefully observed and recorded every aspect of the hair's appearance, from the individual hairs on its body to the reflection of light in its eyes. This level of detail and accuracy was groundbreaking at the time and set a new standard for naturalistic representation in art. Lastly, it's worth noting that young hair is not just a simple study of an animal, but also a testament to Dürer's deep understanding of nature and his ability to convey its beauty and complexity through his art. Who wouldn't love the young hair? So, so there, there you have, have it. it, our top three most significant Northern Renaissance paintings. Plus a bonus masterpiece. Do you agree with our selection, or do you have other favorites from the Northern Renaissance? Share your thoughts and favorites in the comments. Check out our linked video to discover more incredible artists. Immerse yourself in the captivating world of the Northern Renaissance and enjoy the visual feast. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.